Republicans are now demanding a full accounting of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's investigation into former President Donald Trump's alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. It comes in a letter, lengthy letter, four pages uh, from the members of the House Judiciary Administration and Oversight Committees calling on Bragg's office to turn over all relevant documents related to the investigation and any federal dollars used to fund it. Brian Stile is a Wisconsin Republican congressman and chairman of the House Administration Committee who co-signed that letter. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time. So I'll show the viewers really quickly the letter that you co-signed. This is just a, uh, a quick quote that reads in part, Your decision to pursue such a politically motivated prosecution while adopting progressive criminal justice policies that allow career criminals to run the streets of Manhattan requires congressional scrutiny about how public safety funds appropriated by Congress are implemented by local law enforcement agencies, unquote. Um, again, just a, a quick read there. Congressman, what do you believe these documents, if, if Bragg were to comply, could reveal about the investigation once they were, would be turned over? And then basic question, do you expect uh, DA Alvin Bragg to respond to this request? The, the American people deserve even-handed prosecution and not partisan politics being played out by local district attorneys. We have to remember that this was a case that senior DOJ investigators reviewed and chose not to charge, only to have a lower-level district attorney with a progressive track record engage in this investigation. What we want to know is just a handful of things. Are federal tax dollars being used to drive forward a partisan investigation? And is Mr. Bragg engaged with other federal agencies, including the DOJ, in a partisan process. This is particularly important because we have liberal prosecutors, not only in New York, but across the country, failing to actually keep our communities safe, but rather using their offices for partisan purposes. I think these are questions the American people deserve to know the answer to. I want to stay on Alvin Bragg for a second, and, and, and I'll move to the, the, the other part of the story. But do you believe in your own opinion, and it's been written up in the New York Times and others, that this, this district attorney is in some uncharted waters for himself, potentially over his head politically. This is an incredibly unprecedented situation where we could have a former president of the United States of America be indicted by a county level district attorney. I think that should raise questions for everyone. And the concern here is that there's partisan motivations behind this. It's the reason we're asking these questions. We deserve to have a nonpartisan judiciary. The concerns, I think, are quite significant. We're in unprecedented, char charted, uncharted territory. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was actually asked about it yesterday. This is a GOP probe into Bragg's investigation and what the White House's position would be on it. Here's how that played out. House Republicans are requesting to speak with the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg about his ongoing investigation into former President Trump. Is that the view of the White House, a proper use of federal taxpayer dollars to investigate or try to find out what a local prosecutor is? Again, I'm, I'm just not going to, to speak because that, that is an underlying connection uh, to, to, the, uh, to the investigation, just not going to comment from here. Uh, look, our, the president's going to continue to focus on what the American people need, their priorities. Again, as unprecedented as this is, you would assume that a sitting president would want to know how this is being handled. Uh, it seems a, a bit of deflection. Congressman, final thoughts. I think all of the American people need to know that our tax dollars should not be used for partisan political purposes by local district attorneys. I think these are reasonable questions to ask. I think the American people deserve to know the answers. All right, leave it right there, Congressman Brian Stile. Enjoy the day. We do appreciate your time. Thank you.